look at all the fog. It's like we're walking around at 7 a.m. but it's actually like 9.45. But we're on a mission to find healthy food because all we've been eating is pasta because we're students. And beans. Pasta and beans. Because this one's a vegetarian, so that kind of forces me to be a vegetarian. Um, I could, but like meat's expensive. Okay. Yeah. So we're gonna go to the market and try and find some good food and the health food store maybe if we can find it. Sorry mom, you probably should have written the address down for me, but I said I would remember, but we're still gonna try and find it. And we're gonna buy gloves. And we're buying gloves because Emma, she's not wearing them. Emma's gloves have a big hole in the thumb because she's Australian and weak. But it's really, really hot out today. I'm actually kind of sweating in my, my coat. It's like, I don't know, like five. It's supposed to get up to 10, so I'm super pumped. Oh look, a train. Oh yeah, it's just like foggy and there's no one out and about. So maybe we'll have the whole city to ourselves. And Flo is stuck at home studying. Team headed to the Simply Market like we do every day, our favorite local grocery store, aka the closest one to us, because it's like a two minute walk. I don't know what we're, why I'm even vlogging, because we're just being idiots, not really. Yeah, Flo is rocking some, I don't know, she thinks she looks bad. We think she looks cute. Emma's got the real thing though with those socks and boots. I look pretty hot, as usual. But yeah, just gonna go to the Simply and try and figure out what we're gonna do for dinner. <laughs> Let's see Emma struggle over because her body hurts. That's going on YouTube. <laughs> what we have to do, we have to climb over this wall to get into our res because we live in the bad part of town. And we have to watch out for the puddle. And we are successful at the Simply, as you can see by how my friends are struggling to carry their bags. I'm not struggling at all. Have you seen my guns? Yes. Not really. She doesn't have guns. <laughs> One, I have friends, and two, I have drugs. Sorry. Like, what does friends have to do with anything? I think you said she doesn't have friends. No, I said she doesn't have guns. Oh, I do. I'm this sorry. one's crazy. Take me back to Canada. She loves me. Reluctantly. She's coming back to mine, so she must love me. Like, this is my house, and she's been here all day. Yeah, this girl uses me for my Netflix and my Netflix across various countries with my extension. I, I have priorities. I know what they are. Sense 8 is her priority. Yes. Everyone would agree with me. No one would. At least Lawrence is nice to me. Still making food science, but contrary to what it looks like, I actually made this. She's just starting. But we just kind of invented it. We got purple carrot in here. Quite delicious. Quite fancy. There's a... I'll show you. Like, that's a purple carrot. See? Quite fancy. But we're just kind of inventing. We are eating beans again. But it smells good and hopefully it will taste good. I just want you to take a moment to appreciate this beautiful blue sky. Not a cloud in sight. It is gorgeous in Tool today. I'm probably gonna get too hot with my scarf and coat on. I don't know, probably definitely over 10 degrees, but I am super, super happy about this. Got my sunglasses on, which is always exciting. I even got to put my Sperry's on. I've been wearing my boots most days, so you know it's nice out. It's um, Monday, the 25th of January. So I'm just on my way to class. I had class this morning at eight which is gross. It's like completely dark when I leave, so I took the tram, but this time I'm gonna walk because it's so gorgeous out. Um, we went, friends and I went on a walk yesterday on like, just like this, in this park. It was beautiful, took some really nice photos. Um, just had a good time. Last night, Emma cooked me dinner, as usual, because she loves me. But, nothing really exciting. All our, um, French courses specifically for exchange students start this week. We have to go register for that tomorrow and it costs 50 euros but I heard a rumor that 
Canadians don't have to pay or maybe just like people that go to Western don't have to pay. So I'm pretty pumped about that. If I don't have to pay, hopefully not. There's someone behind me. Um, other than that, there's nothing really gonna go. Skating tomorrow night again. We couldn't go last week because of a hockey game. But now I'm just going to enjoy my walk to school and hopefully know what's going on in my class because it's French literature. And I literally have no idea of even English literature. So it's, it's interesting, but the prof is really nice. And I have the same prof for my class in the morning and my class in the afternoon. And she seems like she'll be nice to me. I already had to read a play and I have to read a novel. And I, I read the play and it was weird, but it made sense that the novel's like this big and I'm really not excited about reading it. But yeah, don't really do anything that exciting. Just hanging out. Oh, I'm already getting warm. I love this weather. I did see that some of the snow has melted back home. So it's not like super, super deep, but I hope it's like only like negative 10 for you guys, but we'll check in later. Okay, let's have a frank discussion. So, I'm gonna need a haircut soon, obviously, because I've gotta keep this looking immaculate. No, I'm kidding, but I am gonna need a haircut soon. But everywhere that I have seen, there's one price for women and one price for men. So it's like 30 euros for a woman and like 20 for a man, or like, it's pretty substantial difference. And like, Sarah doesn't wanna pay $45 for a haircut. So, do I just wear baggy clothes and tell them my name is Simon? Or, I don't know, cause like, this is like, this is not $45 to cut my hair. All you have to do is like, shave some pieces off and it's like, it'll be good to go. So, we'll see. I can probably last like two more weeks, maybe three if I'm pushing it, but I think my best bet is just pretend I'm a dude. I think I could pull it off.